YouTube channel where we tackle your common fat loss as well as muscle gain questions and promote the benefits of using the latest and greatest fitness technology so you can reach your body goal destination efficiently. Subscribe to our channel and check out our blog. Our blog has so many helpful articles that I know you will love. The blog link is in the bio. All right, Data Fit crew, in this video, we'll be discussing is the chest strap or the wristwatch better? We will also be discussing which device is considered the most reliable. And finally, I will let you know if you should consider investing in one. So which is better? Well, it depends on what you mean by better. If we're talking about adequately measuring heart rate, a Stanford University study found that six out of the seven wristwatches they tested did track heart rate fairly accurately. FYI, Stanford tested the Apple Watch, Basis Peak, Fitbit Surge, Microsoft Band, Mio Alpha 2, Pulse On, and the Samsung Gear S. And the heart rate numbers had less than a 5% error rate. When it comes to calories expended, most wristwatches don't do an adequate job. Not a single one of those that they tested provided an accurate calorie burn. On average, they were off by 27%. Eek! In the science world, error percent of less than 10% is ideal. So if an imaginary client Sally goes to Soul Cycle and her watch shows that she burned 400, she could have really burned 508 or 292. Oh boy. So for those of you who try to work out to eat pizza or grab an extra beer, you should really rethink your approach basing how much extra you can eat on what your watch says. In regards to chest straps, a study very small, conducted at the Heart and Vascular Institute at the Cleveland Clinic in Cleveland, Ohio, found that when each participant underwent heart rate monitoring with a chest strap monitor or a forearm monitor, the chest strap had less of an error rate. So which device is considered reliable? In terms of reliability, what we do know is Accuracy is extremely important to you. A chest strap is the way to go. The chest strap is 99.6% accurate in predicting heart rate. This is because smartwatches today use photoplethysmography, fancy way of saying PPG, which projects a green light onto the skin. The light is then absorbed by the tissue beneath the skin and is reflected back to the sensor. And that sensor sends a message to calculate all those variables to determine your heart rate. Very complicated, right? While a chest worn monitor uses electrodes to measure your pulse and it's more accurate than PPG because it's worn closer to your heart and less prone to sliding while you're exercising, which leads to more accurate heart rate readings when you're wearing a chest strap. Wrist monitors using optical sensors those optical sensors weren't designed for dynamic movement classes like HIIT classes. Inaccuracies can be generated because all that movement, rapid changings, wrist movements, delay the watch heart rate readings. The readings from the chest strap will remain unaffected by arm motions, which means you'll get more precise data. So, should you invest in one? Before I get into the if you should invest, I want to preface this by saying there is still more research that needs to be done. But in my opinion, chest straps are the best to invest in. But then at the same time, I feel whether you buy a $400 Garmin chest strap or buy a $200 Fitbit, if it gives you motivation, then at the end of the day, that's a positive thing. It's good to have a device that encourages you or reminds you to move. Many have added benefits such as tracking daily movements, reminding you to go to bed, which is awesome. If you're looking to be able to check in to see if your heart rate is at a good place during an intense HIIT class and so on, then clearly a chest strap is a way that you can check in on yourself during that workout because it's accurate and it gives you a quicker heart rate reading. So you will know if you are working hard enough or if you have the ability to push yourself a bit more. I highly recommend you book a VO2 max testing so you can learn what heart rate zone you are working hard at and which heart rate zone you are taking it easy and you can push more. This test can give you a better idea also of how many calories you're burning during exercise. But at the end of the day, these are not medical grade devices, you guys. These devices provide motivation. Don't live and breathe by the calories burned. Just get moving and until next time.